Did you get okra? Oh my gosh! We had ice this morning. I was with an unexpected surprise when you come out here. Cause I can't see my I can't see my car from the house. So I have to wait till I get out here. So Nikki had to leave early so she couldn't let me know that they were iced over, which is fine. Just one more thing to do. Another abnormally good mood today. I don't know why. So I uh, just got you another favorite job, your Route 21. Got another one. Sweet. If it's only an Ankeny this time, you don't have to drive out in the middle of nowhere to get it this time. Move. I'm gonna meet with my dad later tonight. He's in town. Um, he drives for a trucking company out of Omaha. He lives in North Carolina though. So he's constantly back and forth across the country and when he gets a chance we uh, try to meet up with him and have dinner. So we're gonna meet up with him and have some dinner tonight. Um, he won't get in though until about 8 o'clock, the latest, so it'll be another late dinner, but I don't get to see him that often, so I take advantage of when I can. Sorry for yawning there, guys. So we're going to meet up with him, and so you guys will get to meet my dad tonight. So what do you guys listen to when you're driving? I swear I asked this question before in one of my other earlier vlogs, and I can't find it. And if I just, maybe I did, and I just don't see it, I should know, right? But what do you guys listen to when you drive home? or when you drive to work, or when you drive home from work. I personally listen to talk radio. I, I love music, but sometimes I like to listen to talk radio. It's good information. There's only one really station talk radio. I mean, there's some AMs too. So I've driven past this place like a thousand times on the way home. It's called the Saigon Market here. And as you can see, it's definitely all Asian type products. But I'm trying to see if they have these shrimp chips that I found them. Holy crap. These are probably not good for me, but these are the best thing. I found them. Oh, that is so awesome. And they got little mini bags too. Sweet. Yeah, Saigon Market. It's, it stinks really freaking bad in here though. It's like rotten meat smell. So if you can get past that, it's cool. They got all kinds of cool. This is the stuff that you just can't find anywhere else so let's see what kind of goodies I can find some of this stuff looks really good but I can't read it so I have no idea what it is some of it's in English but some of it's not so I don't know if <laughs> well, he's like oh, I don't want to get it and then you find out it's nasty <laughs> they got all kinds of cool stuff here though oh I have to come here more often again half the stuff's probably not good for me but I'm just glad I found a place that had So you guys have seen, obviously, ramen. We all know what it is, but look at the amount of ramen they have here. This is insane. Get all the way down there. That's a lot of ramen. <laughs> Why have I never been here before? I know a lot of you guys say, oh, they're fried, they're fried. A lot of this stuff is actually baked. It, the salt content's not the greatest, but in moderation, right? Don't eat the whole bag, Harold. Don't eat the whole bag, Harold. <laughs> so what do we get? Well, we got, of course, I got some shrimp chips because I got to have those. I mean, these, but they're baked. Um, they've only got five grams of fat. Sodium's not bad at 170, but calories is 130, and 45 of those are from the fat. Again, in moderation, if I eat one ounce, which is like one and a quarter cup, that's a serving. And there's four of them in this bag, so I should be able to get four servings out of this bag and not one. <laughs> um, and then we also got Tim Company makes these, and I've never tried them, but can't be too bad. Tim Company, again, baked, but they're snow pea crisps. 150 calories, 8 grams of fat, sodium still 170, carbs is 14, and there's six servings in this bag because this is the family size. So uh, one ounce is a serving size. So again, all in moderation. <laughs> and the last thing I got, which is just some pork rinds. Again, now these are fried. Um, they're spicy. I probably don't. Even, I might end up giving them to my dad when I see them tonight if they're too spicy. But pork rinds are pork rinds, right? But figured, why not? So I got some 
some pork rinds and the bag's empty so yeah i'm gonna come back here though especially when it comes time to make some stir fry because i got a lot of cool sauces that i can't find anywhere else i'm glad i stopped here I've, i i mean we've lived here for over a year and i've driven past this place every time because i literally i come down that road down this way and then i turn this way up douglas and I've driven past it and never once pulled in here. I don't know why, but someone today told me to turn in, and I did. So yeah, it was like five bucks for all this, so it's not too bad. Well, it looks like Nikki uh, took advantage of Dolls 5 for 25. She got all kinds of stuff. Did you get okra? Yeah. Whew, I'm training her well. I love okra. You love okra? You like fried okra, pickled okra. You ever just had it steamed? Got okra, broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus. She also got some meat, got some chicken, some some prime rib. Not prime rib, ribeye. Something. Anyway, we're stocked up. That's good. This fridge, I can't wait to get a new one because I have defrosted this thing I don't know how many times. And as you can tell, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It still freezes over. So, yeah. Oh, well. Hopefully I'll be getting a new one here soon. Okay, so remember that fuel saver card thing we were talking about? This is how it works. First you swipe your credit card, and then you choose whatever, debit or credit. And then it'll ask you for your fuel saver card. So see it asks, it says currently it's 303, and it's asking me for my card. So I take my card. Now, look at the gas. 10 cents off. Pretty cool, huh? So we're off to go see my dad. He's got to make a stop at PetSmart while he's in town. Uh, driving a big rig kind of limits where he can go. So we're going to pick him up and take him there. And then we get some dinner. So he should be here in the next 15 minutes or so. Looking forward to it. That man makes this look easy. Hi, Abbers. Hey, Gemma's cousin. So this is my dad. Say hi, dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> Getting those little girls the treats before we go out. This is her favorite. She likes the palms the best. Just be this way. You know? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get out of here and get out of the truck. Truck lot. Diesel, diesel fuel always reminds me of my childhood because my dad was a trucker for years and I grew up with him being a trucker and a tour bus driver, so that diesel smell always reminds me of my childhood. It's always good to see him, though. So yeah, I broke my, uh, excuse me, broke my camera. <laughs> Here's the lens. <laughs> we'll see if I can fix it. There's a crack in the lens, so if you see a line going this way or this way, that's what it is. That, right now, you're not doing widescreen, so I don't know how this is going to look compared to everything else. So we're at Menards. Set a pet smart. We came here to get the dog bed. Just need to find some super glue and a dog bed, and we can go get some grub. Well, we finally made it to the restaurant. Waiting for the food. Dad got carne asada. I got some tilapia dish, and then Nikki got a burrito. But yeah, camera is fixed for now. Hopefully, you just don't see that line going whichever way it is, because. I can see it on the lens, but I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I probably eat all of these. Give me fire. Yeah, because she'll fart all night tonight. She'll do that just to spite me. <laughs> I'll get it on video one of these days. I never heard of it. Linda said she's going to go on her two or three times. about as healthy as you can get at a Mexican restaurant. Tastes good though. So I had a pretty good day today overall. Uh, no real issues at work. Got to see my dad. Got to enjoy some good dinner with him. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so we'll be heading out to uh, Adam's house. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow.